if you're here, I believe there's a reason. There are messages meant for you. If this connects with you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Now, let's dive straight into your reading. Alright, Nine of Wands. I see a lot of deep thoughts here, especially about someone you can't seem to get off your mind. You've been thinking hard, maybe even overthinking, about what this person might be feeling or thinking about you. Questions keep swirling around, what does this person feel? Do they even care about me? Do they like me? Could they love me? You keep wondering, did I do something wrong? Am I the reason things feel uncertain? These thoughts can pile up fast, and the weight of it can make you feel overwhelmed. You want answers, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's only natural to want to understand. It shows that you're practical, grounded, and want to be sure of where you stand. But sometimes, this need to know can snowball. It pulls you into an emotional whirlwind that's hard to escape. So, here's what I'll say, sometimes, these moments are an invitation to pause and breathe. While it's tempting to keep analyzing, remember to give yourself space. Trust that clarity will come, and you'll start to see things more clearly soon. Take comfort, you'll get your answers. How does this person that's on your mind feel about you? We have quite a few cards here, and this person's energy is all over the place. Six of Cups is front and center, and it shows how strongly they feel about you. They're drawn to you, almost like a magnet. They think, I like you. I'm so attracted to you. You're kind, caring, thoughtful, everything I've been searching for. With the Six of Cups, there's a deep connection here. It's not just physical, it's emotional and even romantic. They find so much to love about you, the way you look, the warmth of your heart, your generous spirit. You make them feel truly valued. They notice all the small things you do, the way you genuinely consider their feelings, and they find that incredibly attractive. Honestly, they see you as one of the kindest, most genuine people they've ever known. They've met many people, but few have treated them as you do. You make them feel good, seen, and supported. With you, they feel safe to just be themselves, something they rarely experience. You should feel so proud of the energy and kindness you bring. This person deeply appreciates it, and they truly like you. They didn't see this coming. They didn't expect to feel so good with you or to feel this loved and appreciated. It's like a shockwave to them, almost overwhelming. They think, wow, this is more than I ever expected. How did I find someone like this? It feels like you entered their life out of nowhere, and that surprise is both exciting and a little scary. With the Seven of Swords, they're afraid of getting hurt. They worry, what if something goes wrong? What if you end up breaking their heart? What if things aren't as perfect as they seem? They know you're genuine, that you're a good person, but past experiences make them nervous. And with the Seven of Wands, they feel guarded. They've been hurt before, and that fear sometimes takes over. What if this falls apart? What if the magic fades? They know that in the beginning, relationships can feel perfect, full of spark and sweetness, but they're afraid of what happens when reality sets in. That's why the Two of Swords is here, too. They try to stay cautious, holding back just a little, wondering if they should protect themselves. They're torn between wanting to dive in and wanting to keep their heart safe. This explains why sometimes they seem distant and then suddenly warm. You might feel the hot and cold pattern, leaving you wondering, what's going on? What are they feeling? They definitely like you, 
Queen of Pentacles shows that. The magician here, paired with a maternal figure, means they've actually talked about you with someone who feels like a mother to them. This might be their actual mother, or it could be an aunt, sister, grandmother, or even a close friend who gives them that warm, wise support. This maternal figure has been very encouraging. She's probably told them, if you feel this much, give it a chance. You don't need to jump all in right away. Take it day by day, but don't shut down. Be open. Communicate. Enjoy the process. Her advice to them is simple but powerful. Enjoy, connect, and don't let fear hold them back. She's encouraging them to talk to you, be honest, and enjoy every moment. So don't be surprised if they reach out soon, communication is definitely coming, and it's been pushed by this mother figure. She's not only supportive but also firm. She's told them, this could really work out. This relationship could grow into something beautiful, but only if you put in the effort. You can't let this slip by. It's a partnership. It takes two people working together. Your person has opened up deeply to her about you. They've spoken with such emotion, describing you as someone who's loving, kind, and endlessly caring. They've even called you the most wonderful person they've ever met. This connection moves them so much that I feel they may have even cried while talking about you, pouring out their admiration and gratitude for who you are. The Wheel of Fortune here represents Jupiter, symbolizing something big, something lasting. It shows they're not just thinking about now, they're imagining a future with you. They want to write new chapters together, create memories, and build a life. But sometimes, fear holds them back. They catch themselves flipping back to old chapters, moments of past pain, hurt, and loss. They're protective of their heart, wary of feeling that sadness again. That hesitation isn't about you, it's about guarding themselves from pain they once knew. In short, they're ready to try, but they're cautious. Their heart wants to move forward with you, but they're learning to trust in something new, something they didn't see coming but hope to keep for the long term. But truthfully, in time, they will be okay, they will come forward. And I feel here that this mother figure is really saying, go for it. It's okay, go for it. It's going to be okay, it's going to come together, don't worry. So, how does this person feel about you? Ooh, we got so many charms this time. One even fell right on me, it's a hot air balloon. This charm tells me they feel excited when they think of you, but at the same time, they're a bit lost in their own thoughts. It ties perfectly with the reading. The charms are like a double confirmation of what the tarot cards showed, a second layer saying the same thing. So, understand this. Their confusion isn't because of you, it's because of their own past pain. They're sorting through old wounds and fears that aren't related to anything you did. They want to work through this and find their way forward. We also see a strong pull toward travel and making memories with you. If you haven't already shared experiences abroad, that's something they imagine in your future together. They want to explore new places, experience the world, and create unforgettable moments with you. These dreams are strong, they want to see amazing things, and they want you there with them. But there's a catch, all these dreams bring up fears too. They worry about opening up so much and then getting hurt. They have these big hopes for you both, but they're scared to let go fully. And I also see here this hot air balloon, so they want to go to warm countries, they want to go to very scenic places, scenic destinations. They also hear really like your lips, okay? That's something that I really need to tell you. They really, really like your lips. 
It makes them feel very attracted to you. We also have a charm of a pearl here. Now, pearls remind me of places where people can go diving, maybe in warm, tropical areas where pearls are found. It could hint at a location they'd love to visit with you, someplace beautiful and exotic. But there's more to this pearl, it shows how they see you. They want to treat you like royalty, with care and admiration. They think you're special, like a rare gem, and feel you deserve only the best because you treat them so well. They feel like they've found someone perfect, and they know they need to show you that. Then, we've got this bird charm. Birds symbolize freedom and being yourself, and that's how you make them feel. With you, they feel free to be who they truly are. You are their dream person, the one they feel lucky to have met. This freedom is rare, and they're grateful for it. We also have a flower charm here, and I see it connecting with a bouquet of flowers too. It's very likely they'll surprise you with something floral, maybe a bouquet or a gift with flowers on it. These symbols, pearls, birds, and flowers, reflect how they feel deeply drawn to you, full of admiration, freedom, and beauty. We also have lots of leaves, as well, so, again, I see here tropical, warm destinations, somewhere that they want to take you where there's a lot of greenery, but also it's warm and tropical. Again, goes with the pearl. It's just what I see. It can be more of, like, this sort of, like, desert environment, although that's not always very tropical. But it could be somewhere even, you know, think about places like, I'm just going to give you some places because this is what I'm thinking, like, you know, places like South America or the Far East, where you see these kinds of leaves, you can see hot air balloons, things like that. Okay, so we've also got here, as well, that they really do want to message you, from what I see here, okay? They do want to message you, they do want to communicate with you, they do have love towards you. They want to fix things. How cute, how flipping, oh my god, the spanner actually fits on the heart. That is so adorable. I'm sorry, that is the highlight of my day today. That is so cute. You know, one day I just want to play around with my charms because this is adorable. Sorry, I, like, become a child again. This is so cute. Okay, yeah, so they want to fix this, okay? And we've also got here this mermaid tail. So, they feel like you are very, very genuine, you're very rare, you are unlike anyone they've ever met. We've got a rolling pin here, as well, so they want to cook with you, they want to go places with you and cook with you. Also, you know, some of these destinations, there are, like, cooking classes that can be done. Like, they want to cook with you, they want to learn with you, they want to grow with you, they want to see scenic places with you. That's what we see here. That's how they feel towards you. You make them want to do these things with you, not, oh my god, let me run away, you know. Wow. 